Hello there, welcome to tutorial. I have prepared a great tutorial for you. With this tutorial, you will be able to find answers to all questions you have been wondering about Excel VBA user form. In this tutorial, I will also teach access at a basic level. Because in this project, we will use access as database and Excel as desktop program. The main advantage of the program is that multiple users can use it at the same time. So multiple users can send data to the database. They will also be able to fetch data from the database. In this project, we will act on scenario. I also explain example of SQL queries in the tutorial. It will help you a lot. After completing this tutorial, there will be no topic that you don't know about Excel user form. You will also have a background in developing programs in another software language. In this way, you can create any desktop software you want with any program. You will be able to create automation and develop algorithms. Let's look at our program. As you can see, our program is 4 megabytes, very small file. Let's open our program. As you can see, there is no Excel file in the back. We see only the form. We can log into the program with user and password. Only registered users can access. When I click the text inside, automatically disappears. I enter my username and my password. The program said successful login by checking my username and my password. We are waiting for the program to be prepared with the progress bar and our program is open. We have a real-time clock. The name of the logged in user is also here. All fields have hover feature. There is also a responsive sidebar. From here, the user can change the password. By clicking at user, we can add a new user. Reporting was the most beautiful and complex part of the program. We have created a business object like reporting system. Transactions section shows all transactions of the company. We have a scenario in this educational project. There is a company that buys and sells. So it has bought suppliers and customers. I made all the fiction accordingly. With delete, I can delete the record I want. I can also create a new record by clicking add new. When I click here, the system automatically gives me a transaction ID. This number is automatically defined by the system. When sell is selected, this is customer. When buy is selected, it's changed to supplier. It fills up automatically when I start writing the combo box. From here, I can create a new record. Customer entry from appears when sell is selected. When buy is selected, supplier entry form appears. Here, I can choose the product I want. I can also add a new product. The unit price in the database comes automatically. I can change it by clicking here. When I select the amount, the total field is calculated automatically. When I press this button, it sends the data to the list box. Then I can select another product and send it. 
all orders are listed in this way. If I add a wrong record, I can delete the record with the delete button. Here I choose the transaction state and payment method. I can also add a new method here. I press save. It wants to know if I want to create an invoice when I press yes. Invoice created in PDF format with all details in an automatic way. In addition, this PDF file was saved to the desktop. I think it's a great property. My Excel file was opened in the bank. There is no way to prevent this. However, the user cannot make any changes in Excel. When you close this form, Excel disappears again. The suppliers form contains all the details. I can delete with delete, update with update. I can create a new record by clicking add new. The same structure exists for customers. Delete, update and add new features. Let's update a customer's information. Greatly, the update was done. There is only me and one dummy data in the stuff. Here you will find all the information too. When we can see all products in the products form. As we click, we can also display pictures of products. I can also record a new product by clicking add new. Payment methods are similar. I can view all methods. I can also enter new record. In the stock management section, a graphic welcomes us. I can see the interactive graphics of the product. I click here. I can also see the quantity and amount information regarding the purchase and sale. Here we see their share proportionally. At the bottom, we can see the graph of all products. The chart below is not dependent on product selection because it shows the general figures. Here we can also see how much value each piece contains within the pie slice. We also have a bar chart. We can also see all the numbers here. I think it's a visually satisfying field. Let's start reviewing the reporting section. Thanks to the this button here, we can transfer the table we want. This way we can transfer. We can import the following data into an Excel file. The data was transferred to Excel file in a great way. This was also a great property. We can do this without the need for any other programs. Excel is enough. We also allow the user to create queries. The user can select a table, then select the fields. The work condition can also be selected. 
The crit criterion can also be selected. When I press the run button, the table is filled with only selected criteria. We can also see the SQL command here. We can also export this to the Excel. This works great too. Let's create a query about the date of birth. Let's write two dates. When I press the run button, it reveals the entire table. I can also use the like command. It brought everyone here whose names starts with A. Let's do another query. Let's select a few fields from the transactions table. In the work condition, select quantity. Greater than 5. It filled the table again with current data. Let's try a between comment. I will bring 2 to 5. Run. It works great. I think we make the most advanced program that can be done with Excel. There is no such course on Udemy and other web pages. This is the only course about Excel user forms. I wish the tutorial will be useful for you all. You can always email me or write to the QA section. I will add new videos for your questions and I will share it with all of you. I wish you success in advance. See you in the next video.